What's up, you guys? I'm back today, finally, with the recap video of what I found out about my S10. Here's the current situation. Um, as you can see, it's here getting fixed. Well, if you've seen my last video, you would know that we purchased this truck did not do any work to it, took it down to test and tune, and it made one pass, and it was giving us kind of trouble, even with the burnout, and then second pass, it just did not want to run. So we had to figure out what was the problem. As you see here, my hubby and my son went to work on it, um, because I've had some medical stuff done because normally I would be here helping as well. But yeah, I had some medical things that I had to take care of and could not do it. But my 11 year old and my hubby had a nice little project going on. And, um, we decided to go over the motor and at some point we figured out that at some point water sat in the carburetor because it was rusted, um, it had rusted bowl bolts and um, corrosion. The needle was also um, causing the carburetor to, it was sticking. So it was causing the carburetor to flood over. Um, we ran a compression test and we had a couple of low cylinders. We also did a leak down test on it and the cylinders um, we tested was leaking in the exhaust valves as well. So um, they pulled out the motor and we got the heads off. We saw some marks in the pistons that I'm going to show you in a bit um, where the exhaust valves was like hitting it lightly. Um... After further inspection, we also saw that the jessel belt drive timing um, adjustment had slipped. So it was causing the cam to be fully retarded. So, so far, those are all the things that, um, that we figured out on what the problem was, why I didn't want to run second time around, and why it was giving us trouble the first time. Um, we took the heads to a machine shop and we are pulling the bottom end out to freshen it up while it's out. Well, in the meantime, um, I'm going to put a picture of the other vehicle that we have, which is a white Camaro right here in the screen. That was also in the last video and it tests and tuned fine. It currently runs, um, that's kind of an investment car that we want to make modifications and work on it so it can be faster. But in the meantime, it does run a 650. So um, we have to go pick it up and maybe I can run it once I'm feeling a little better and we have it. Maybe I can run it and um, see if I like that class. See, I can kind of go from there and see what I'm doing. Um, so that's kind of the plan right now and then in a little bit after i show you the pistons and everything in a little bit i'm going to show you the car that hubby is going to be driving in this week's upcoming no prep race anyway i just wanted to show you the pistons sorry it's a little dark in here guys it takes time for this light to come on um but yeah so this is <clears throat> this is what we have out like i said it needs <clears throat> it needs a freshening up which is what we're going to do in the meanwhile while everything is at the machine shop getting worked on so yeah this is it so hopefully after all this that we found out and all the things that we're getting it getting done hopefully um it's ready to go and then we can put it back on there. We have a mess of things, you guys. All the things that we're going to do. 
Let me just show you real quick. That's the truck, my mud racing truck up there that we got to finish um, getting done. But yeah. So anyway, that is what's happening currently. So we're kind of like on hold with this S10. I still want to work on my purple S10 as well and figure out what I'm going to do with that one. Um, Cause we've made several changes and there's always one problem or the other, but I guess that's the name of racing. There's always going to be one problem or the other and a lot of testing and things like that. But hopefully while this is done, I can drive the white car and get some seat time and kind of just get the hang of things and see how I like it and what I want to do. Right now, I want to do class racing versus like no prep racing. I don't know if I want to do no prep right now, maybe in the future. I might have plans to do that. I don't know. We will see. But let me show you hubby's car. And yeah, he's getting ready for no prep this upcoming weekend. Here is our stacker, you guys. Um, hopefully, like I said, when we go racing next weekend or maybe the week after that, we can pick up the white car so that I can get to working on it and using it. But in the meanwhile, let me show you what hubby has here. Right there. He is rocking my Sure Girls Racing sticker where he's representing his wife's channel. So I love that. And this is it. I will show you the other side as well. This is a 79 Camaro. Um, in this green color here here's the entrance of the stacker you guys and um, let me get on here and here is the front of um, his car he did um, when we purchased this car Obviously, it was done with, you know, it could have ran by itself, but he rewired everything. He did some minor modifications to it. So we're going to see how it does, um, you know, the upcoming weekend. And hopefully it does really good. So I will have a video um, when we go to Georgia to the purge is yeah which is next week so that's the plan anyway so he's going to continue to work on this and we're going to continue to work on my s10 and yeah hopefully we get the white car so you can put that baby up there and i can also test it and like i said get some seat time and figure things out and that's the plan for now So, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing, like, hit the bell when you, so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Um, in this channel, I want to do all racing, so whether it's drag racing, mud racing, bogging, um, RC car racing, because that's something else that we've been collecting and want to get into as well. So, if that's your thing, then yeah, consider subscribing, and I'll always have a video. I will be posting much more videos coming um as you guys know fellow racers um it takes a lot of time money patience um you know to fix a car and get everything right so it's not a one day quick fix so yeah it does take time but anyway i will have more videos for you guys so up into my next video and yeah, have a good one.